Hi, Jessica. My name is Leslie and I'm going to be your nurse practitioner today. And today I'm going to do a couple different assessments. So I'm going to do your heart assessment. I'm going to do it sitting up and lying down. I'm going to do a lung assessment and then I'm going to do your vascular assessment. Um, we are going to defer your breast assessment. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take a look at your chest area, make sure everything looks okay. Um, I'm going to do some measurements as well. Um, and then listen to your heart. Okay. So, okay. okay, we're gonna take a listen to your, your heart. The second intercostal space, right sternal border. Second intercostal space, left sternal border. This is your sternum here. You have your manubrium, your ankle ovule, the third intercostal space, which is the herbs point, and mesenchymal mitral valve, which is at the fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. Very good. I'm gonna listen with the bell. Again, at the same areas that I listened to. Good, very good, okay. All right, now I'm gonna just kind of feel your chest area to feel if I, if I can feel any heaves or anything, and I don't feel anything, so I think that that's, that's great. So go ahead and um, lie down for me. You can put your, go. Okay. Arms at your side, thank you. Okay, I'm going to take a listen to your heart again. The same spots. I'm gonna sit here and listen for your apical pulse. Okay, I'm going to feel for that. Very good, okay, I'm gonna listen again. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna watch you breathe. I did not hear any murmurs. I did not hear any rubs. I did not hear any clicks. Um, so everything, everything looked pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and have you sit back up now because I'm gonna take a listen to your lungs, okay? So I'm gonna do some measurements first though. I'm gonna measure um, your AP diameter um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a measurement across your chest area. There we go. Go ahead and keep your arm up for me, please. Okay, and then I'm going to just measure here. And that is good. That is a difference of just a couple inches, which is actually normal. So um, what I would like to do is um, I'm going to look at your throat. I'm going to look where your trachea is intact and it's midline, so no problems there. Again, your notches, your manubrium. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at your chest area to see if there is any um, vascular issues, if I can see any veins. I do not see any veins, nothing prominent. Take a look at your back. That all looks good as well too. Um, you have good, you can feel your ribs. I don't see them, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna take a listen to your lungs now from the front, okay? I would like you to take a nice deep breath in and out for me. Okay. right lateral over here. This will tell me your right middle lobe. Good. If I can have you sit an angle towards that way, and I'm going to go ahead and take a listen. You can just angle a little bit more so we can get you into the 
into the video there. There we go. Okay, nice deep breath in it out. Good. Nice and clear breath sounds. I don't hear anything abnormal. I don't feel any crepitus. Okay, very good. Your respiratory rate is normal. If you could just stay there for me, I'm gonna do a couple more measurements. Your respiratory rate is normal. Your rhythm is nice and good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check your diaphragmatic excursion. So I'm gonna place my hands down here um, below your the very end of your rib cage. And what I'd like you to do is take a nice deep breath in and out. Good, and you have symmetric um, movement. Very good. So, um, and then what I want to do also um, to you is I'm gonna do something called tactile fremitus. So I would like you, I'm gonna put um, my hands on your back and I would like you to say 99 for me. 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, and that was completely normal. Um, another thing that I'm gonna do is um, vocal resonance. So I'm gonna take a listen again, and then I'm gonna have you say the number 32 for me, okay? Go ahead. 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32. 32, 32, 32, 32, 32. Good, and that was completely normal as well. So your breath sounds were nice and clear. I did not hear any abnormal breath sounds or adventitious breath sounds. Um, you have no use of accessory muscles when you're breathing. Your sim um, symmetry is um, normal moving. Um, your rib prominence is very nice. Um, so what I'm going to have you do now is I'm going to go ahead and have you lay back down. I'm going to go ahead and listen to your, oh, well, actually, let me have you set up for one second and I'm going to do your carotid ultras or your carotid breathe. So I'd like you to take a deep breath and hold your breath. Good. Breathe. Okay. You can just hold your breath. Good. Very good. I did not hear anything abnormal there. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you lay back for me with your arms at your side. And I'm gonna listen to your subclavian vein. I'm gonna listen to the um, arteries in your stomach as well, including your aortic artery. And I'll let you know as I go down, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm listening to your aorta now. I do not feel any pulsations. I do not hear any breweries. I'm going to listen for your left iliac artery, or I'm sorry, your left renal artery, your right renal artery, your right iliac artery, your left iliac artery, your left femoral artery, and your right femoral artery. Great. And I don't hear anything there. I don't feel any... Um, sensations. I don't feel anything vibrating. Everything sounds um, good there. So what I'm going to do now is just check your pulses. Okay. So your skin is nice and warm. It is dry. You have good color. You have good capillary refill. Okay. I'm going to start by checking your carotid pulse. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to check. This is your radial pulse and your brachial pulse, which is good. You're about a two, which is normal and symmetric. You have regular, check your pedal pulse, your posterior tibial pulse. Okay, very good. So I do not see any swelling, feel any swelling down in your legs. I don't see any swelling overall. Um, and you have any tenderness when I press? No. Okay, very good. And that is the um, end of our assessment. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you